Hey up Chate gang. Here we are in sunny Scarborough. And we want to show you around because he's Colin. He's Tim. And, and together, together we, we are the Chatter guys. guys. Come on, let's get showing you. Uh, this is Scarborough Spa. And today they've got uh, Sci-Fi Scarborough going on, so come on, let's have a look. We're not paying to go in though. Oh no, we Yorkshire lads. This is the famous Scarborough Spa. They hold lots of different events here, and today it's the turn of Sci-Fi Scarborough. Yeah, it makes, uh, I mean, it's still in good condition to say it's been here since 19th, 19th century. We were just reading on a placard there, but it still looks absolutely, I'll just show you what it's like inside. It looks delightful inside. We've seen various sci-fi creatures coming, walking about, haven't we? Yeah, we've seen a couple of Daleks, um, Princess Leia with a cat. <laughs> and Dr. Haya. The events that I can see on the placard, I've got a production of Michael from the West End, Kinky Boots, Tom Davis, Dinah Warwick, and you can even get... Did you wedded. say Dinah Warwick? <laughs> oh, is it? Dion Warwick. Dion Warwick. Dion Warwick. Dion Warwick. <laughs> and look, you can even get married at the spa. Lots of tap shops here, look, Tim. Plenty of tat in there. This is something we don't often do in Blackpool, and that's come down on the beach. Yeah, but we wanted to show you, there's people paddle boarding. It's about 10 degrees today, and look at this. It is nippy. I don't know if you can see them out there, but there must have been at least one, two, three, four, five, six. Six surface stroke paddle boarders out in that today. They did say it's a good spot for it in Scarborough, but I've never seen so many. I have to say, they're very brave. Very, very brave. They won't be catching me in there today. Oh, oh. there's some stood up there, look. Oh, it's just crashed. The birds are very uh, strong for it today. The dogs are loving it, aren't they? Dogs, yeah. dogs love sand. <laughs> one rolling about in it, it will be like, loving it. I think it's the freedom that they've got to run about and it's not hurting them on the foot, is it? No. This is Scarborough's Grand Hotel and we're on the promenade just underneath. Yep, and we're going to have a nice gentle stroll on the promenade to show you. It's not a bad day, is it? The sun's no. out, it is very cold. It's a bit brisky. <laughs> so the temperature's about uh, 10 degrees. Yeah, and there's a uh, healthy sea breeze. <laughs> yeah, there is. But on the weather today, there is zero chance of rain. So we thought, let's get out and do a bit of filming for you. So I love the beach, isn't it? Nice colder than sand. It is. It's bit... uh, very busy today, the beach. Yeah, a bit there's too cold for some day, really. Brisk walk on the beach today. Yeah. And a lot of pets as well, because I think the pets will probably be only allowed to come on towards the end of. Uh, first of May, the pets are uh, oh, not yeah. allowed on the beach. It's great to see the tramway still in operation as well. Victorian tramway to town. Slot machines here, Colin. Mm -hmm. Alan, feel as you. Oh, and there's, there's a big wheel here for you, Colin. Yorkshire's big wheel. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look as rickety as that one in Blackpool, does it? <laughs> <laughs> We're not going on. Let's not go on today. <laughs> uh, to still we say we're relatively still out of season now and it's a bit nippy today. There's quite a lot of people here. Yes. Oh look, donkeys are out too, look. Oh wow. Now while we're passing to are you sure you don't want to go on? <laughs> Is that the big wheel or the donkey you're talking mm -hmm. about? There doesn't look to be many up big wheel, I haven't seen Not one today. person on it yet. It's Not good set. Set. Yeah, 
Right, see the donkey rides there. Four pounder going donkey. I'm recognising quite a few places from the uh, TV series, the comedy series. I definitely I remember that hill. Yes, I've I that hill quite a few times. Yeah, and I think this might be where the uh, arcade that they used to film in. Yeah. And I'm no further along than the, the pub that they use. I did really enjoy that series. Uh, I did, it's a series. shame that it only lasted for one season. Yeah. <laughs> I think there are a lot. There, there would have been a lot of character development you could have done in that. Yes, I think so. Open top buses are still running today. Yep. We're going to take one later on, aren't we, Colin? We are. We're going to bob up and film some uh, of my favourite place in Scarborough, which is uh, P Zone Park. I grab a bus um, and uh, take a ride up there. And also, we're going to show you what uh, Europe's biggest, Europe's biggest. Beep, beep. There's always some idiot, isn't there? <laughs> uh, what on earth do they want to drive around in that contraption for? <laughs> uh, but we're also going to go up to Pizon Park and going to show you the Europe's biggest outdoor theatre. Stay tuned. There too. Oh, you can smell the fish and chips. Yep, we can tell you at the seaside. Mainly across the seas there. Oh, look at that flamingo to go, flamingo base. It's a nice pay, ice a cream parlour. Oh, look at them labs. It's a bit cold for an ice cream today, but it still might have a roll. Look at them labs. <laughs> Sorry about that chat again. Do you think it's compensating? Absolutely. <laughs> compensating for either not having a brain or not having a big <laughs> personality. Personality. That's what yeah. you're looking for. Yeah, I'll save that. Thank you. <laughs> oh, look at this! You can have a cup of Yorkshire tea. <laughs> It's still got its charm, Scarborough. It has. It's a lovely old town. We're gonna uh, uh, after we've been to Pizon Park, we're gonna take a, a walk up to the town as well to show you the town and see what that looks like. It's an action-packed day today. Fancy a bag of whelks? <laughs> no. Uh, cockles? No. I can remember the uh, Harbour Bar as a kid, we used to always look forward to a visit in Harbour Bar. Yeah, did you? Yeah. Have you got both your donuts? For um, Knickerbocker Glory. Oh yeah, that was, was the, that was the ultimate, wasn't it? Knickerbocker yeah. Glory. We just stopped off at the Old Town Tea Room and we've got cappuccino. Tim's got a scone. I've got, yeah, and I've got a lovely piece of rocking robin. This is a cheese scone, it's massive. Oh, wow. Can't wait for this. Mm, me neither. Mm, nom nom. <laughs> We're just coming on uh, up to the arbor now. Boat trip still? Oh, wow. Jumbo, rock shop. Yes, I know it's uh, rock was a lot cheaper over here than it is in Blackpool. Yeah. Plenty of boats you can go on. Yeah. The pirate, the pirate ships looking uh, very busy. Last time I went on a boat, I think it was Bridlington, I was sick as out all day. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd go on another one. See the old fishing nets? Do you think these are still used? Are they crab nets these? Do you think they're still uh, used? I think they probably use them for crabs, yeah. Well, um, I don't see why they wouldn't use them. Let's go and have a walk on to Arbor. Yeah. It's hard to see you, Colin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> No, it's just a police box, it's not. It's 
there's a telephone uh, a telephone in it still. No, I don't think there is. And there's the uh, the pub off here, uh, the Newcastle, that one. Oh, that was a pub that they put in the uh, TV, TV series, wasn't it? Yeah, that one, that, that one often filmed, that was a local yeah. pub. Here you can see when the tide's in. Uh, two times today, once at ten past eight in the morning and once at half past four in the afternoon. Oh, and it also tells you how many hours of sunshine there were yesterday, which according to this is uh, less than one hour. So I wonder how accurate they are. There'll be more sunshine today. Oh look, there's a penny arcade. Yeah. I bet it's more than a penny. It's a penny arcade. <laughs> Don't sing that. <laughs> Your favourite song. I hate that song. <laughs> if you ever do karaoke chat again, do not do penny arcade. <laughs> Bethel Mission Chapel. That's an interesting building, isn't it? It's it got is. massive window. It's a burger and pizza place now. Oh, yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Keyside Bar, that's popular for uh, fish and chip eating outside of here. It certainly is today. It's, every table's full. Seagulls love it. <laughs> I bet they do. <laughs> right, let's have a look on here. Oh, looks like it's been out fishing. Seabay.com, does that remind you or anything? A little bit. <laughs> I, think, I think they've borrowed somebody's uh, marketing. Maybe. Well, there's plenty of bars. And yeah. Fish and chip shops to stop that on here, isn't there? There are. I wonder what it's like of a night time here. We've not stayed in Scarborough, have we? No. Did you used to holiday here when you were younger? No, we always used to uh, go to Filey. Oh, Filey. Yep. Blackpool for day trips. Filey, uh, because we go to Butlins. I know we did used to stop uh, in Scarborough. I'm not sure whether it was Scarborough we stopped in or one of the uh, local ones to here. Maybe a caravan somewhere, because I always remember. I know we're going up to Pizzo and Park later, but that was highlight a week. <laughs> we're going to um, fireworks and... Uh, oh, it would boat, be. The boat's going out onto, into um, Lake. And oh, yes. Firing rockets at each other. Like them re oh, them remote control boats. Yeah, they still have those, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> Looking forward to them. Think kids get excited the same nowadays? Uh, I'm not sure. It's all gone online now. I thought it was not it? We're not going to go over into the uh, arbor because we'll get restricted for copyright over there. But well, that is the uh, Luna Park amusement. Yep. So it looks like there's some, a few wild rides in there. Yes, that looks very jiggly, that one. Yeah, not for us, that, I don't think. <laughs> so we'll give you another shot at Arbour, the lovely Scarborough Arbour, and then we're going to catch a bus up to Pizone Park. <laughs> wow, it's certainly bracing up here, isn't it? It certainly is. It's just like being in Lisbon, really. It is. We've got an open top bus and they've got a vernacular. The only thing we're missing is uh, gorgeous weather. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the graffiti. There's not as much graffiti here. No, there's not. Let's show you the, uh, let's show you the view from up here. <laughs> wow, look at them waves. Oh, look at them waves. <laughs> Oh, wow, look at all those seagulls, seagulls nesting there. Yeah. Wow, this there must be thousands. 
How much, it, how much was it on the bus, Jim? That weren't cheap, was were it? It was seven pounds each return. Wow. Yeah, so uh, no, I think a bit pricey, really. And it's a very slow journey because the people up ahead are driving slowly, looking for parking spaces along here. So a good tip, uh, Tata Gang, is you will uh, there's, you'll spend half of your day looking for a car parking spot. Yeah. But just coming into Scarborough, there's a park and ride. Yep. And it costs five pound fifty for two of us to come down. And it was so easy, weren't it? Yeah, you just hop straight on the bus, like you're right in the centre of town. Oh, I've not seen any vacant car parking spaces while we've been here, and it is more expensive to park in town anyway. Well, that's a top tip, top tip from the Saturday guys when you're coming to Scarborough. Indeed. Use the park and ride. Very choppy on here, isn't it? it certainly is. I think this must be North Bay that we're coming to, up to now. If you can hear us up here chat again, look at them waves. Wow. Yep. They're, they're probably a bit too high for the surfers then. I would think so. I tell a lie, look at the surfers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's ten surfers out in that. They are hard. Add to the car. Because when the wind drops, it's quite warm. It just uh, it never drops. <laughs> oh, the new flats. Well, they're not new now. They've been no, out some no. years, aren't they? Aren't they? they just look new. And here we are. Well, that's a lot uh, warmer down here, Tim. Yes, it is. Now you're out of the wind, it's uh, quite pleasant. If you want a good view of Scarborough, that's the way to go. So as you get off the bus at North Shore, you've got all these uh, shops below the uh, flats. And then, of course, you've got the beach. And then here, you've got a lovely pitch and put. Crazy golf. That's very nice, that, isn't it? It's very well kept. Now we're going to go and have a walk up to uh, Pizon Park. Show you what Pizon Park's all about. Yeah. Old bus here. Yep. You see many like that, do you? You do not. Uh, we've just entered uh, entered Pizon Park, which is my favourite part and probably will always be my favourite part of Scarborough. I just love it here. It's got like a Chinese theme, hasn't it, with the fencing and the bridge? Yeah. It's always been like that. See this bridge here? Yeah. You can go on that bridge there and you can go you can go up up the path up there. Yes. And right up to the top and there's a Japanese Oh I see it. Time to go up. Uh, I think it's closed. Oh. oh it might be closed right. and talk some that. Yeah, it's closed. But there's a lovely walk up there. It does say weather permitting, so yeah. Just might be waiting for that summer coming. But there is a lovely walk up there and there's some nice peace gardens up there and it's all all done in a Japanese theme. It's nice to see the boat still in use, so it's a lot yeah. of places to shut up, uh, uh, the stop, can't they? Yeah. Blossom trees. Oh, daisies are out. Oh, look, there's history of the peas on Yeah, let's have a look. Let's nice. go and tell you a bit about the history of the peas on park. So it was a 20th century that a man called Harry Smith a gift for landscape design and created many of the famous parks you'll find in Scarborough. Oh, see there, underneath the lake lie the remains of a medieval manor, wow. the House of Norstead. The manor belonged to the future King Richard III. So it was opened, of all the hard work that was done, uh, it was bought in 1911, Scarborough Corporation bought the land, and it was opened in on the 19th of June, 1912, the Mayoress of Scarborough declared the park officially open. 
There you go. You know about the history of Pizza on Pank, huh? I don't do the same to the swan, it'll have me. <laughs> We're going to come back in somewhere, aren't we? With some friends. Yep. And then what I was saying, uh, uh, can you remember them, Tim, if you've been to see them? I don't know whether you can see each other again, but if you follow my finger right till the end and you're going up there, that's where the boats used to come out we all, uh, for the fireworks and they used to like throw... Um, what's the things? What, you know, used to fire things off. Cannons. Right. They used to, fall, uh, they used to like cannon each other off and they used to have like battleships on here. Oh, wow. And then they used to have a fire display afterwards. Oh, we used to love it. <laughs> Hmm, this duck thinks you've got something for him. I don't feel I'm afraid. Oh, there's spread. a waterfall there coming down from that. That's lovely. Mm, let's see if I can zoom in on that. I'm yeah. going to zoom in on this. Well, you can see that there, that other waterfall from uh, Japanese tower. Uh, Chinese tower up there. Really is a lovely park. And that's a lovely pea zone park for oh, you. Just beautiful, isn't it? It's so nice with the willow tree and the little waterfalls and ducks. <laughs> It's very well kept as well, this park, isn't it? I've not yeah, seen any rubbish or graffiti or... It's as, far, as far as I remember, I remember last, last reading about it, and although it's funded by council, a lot of it is run by volunteers as well. Yes. There's a big um, volunteer organisation that looks after its upkeep. And you can tell. Look how clear the water is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can see it bottom. I can't remember it being as nice as this. It looks like they've made a lot of bridges going across yeah. it, which I can never remember it being like this. If anybody knows any different in the chat again, please let us know. And that was uh, Peace on Park for you, Tim. What did you think to Peace on Park? It's beautiful, really, really nice, very well maintained. I'd love to come back uh, a bit later on in the season when all the flowers are out. Uh, I bet it's absolutely breathtaking. We will. We'll be back for the summer and we'll be able to uh, walk around with t shirts, hopefully. Here we are, just coming up to Scarborough's Open Air Theatre, which is the biggest open air theatre in Europe. Just as you come through the entrance to the theatre, there's this little station where you can catch a miniature train to the Sea Life Centre. Bye-bye. <laughs> as well as the open air theatre and there's a couple of cafes down here. We've also got this uh, adventure thing up in the trees look that you can climb on. There's the balls on the lake. I'm sorry. The balls <laughs> on the lake. That's yeah. what I thought you said. <laughs> yeah, well, well there's some balls on the lake. It's playing in them. Can you not see? Okay. <laughs> And then there's some more uh, boats you can go on here. I'm not sure whether the water chute is still open. It looks a bit run down, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, come on, let's take a walk over to the theatre. See some upcoming acts, what we've got. Let's see what acts have 
not coming up. So this year they've got status quo. Wow, status quo still alive. Mm -hmm. Must be. Status quo. <laughs> they they were knocking on when I were a lad. Deacon Bow. Busted. Fat Boy Slim. Oh, Tom Jones is back again. Gregory Carter. So, of those, Colin, yep. which one would you pick to go and see? Uh, the Castle. Me too. Yeah. I think sure. that's the only one I'd want to go and see. It's exciting, even though we've got to... Ooh. Wow. Look at this. Whoa. Wow. That's the uh, stadium. And you can see this will be looking out of a... Oh, the stage is not here now, but... I have been up here before when there's, when there's the stage, and you yes. see where that concrete thing is there. Yeah. There's a stage there. But when it first opened this, Tim, I don't know if you know, but here, there used to be the... The lake used to continue through here. Oh, did it? Yeah, and for safety reasons, they had to uh, cover it up. Oh, really? I yeah. bet that was good, though, for that reflections from the stage. I bet yeah. it was uh, really spectacular to see. Yeah. And then when you come down here when there's an event on, I haven't actually been on here when there's an event, I haven't been to any event here. But when the season's opened up later on, when the stage is up, you can go to the bars down there that's open and have a drink. Can't you remember last time we come up I there? I can remember it, yes. We had a point to like it down here, didn't we? We did. So yeah, that's the stage where I think Kylie's been here. There's been lots of famous ones. Uh, yes. I'm not sure about Lady Gaga. No, I don't think Lady Gaga will here. Yeah. I think Beyonce's been here, hasn't she? No. No. Oh, no. okay. <laughs> no, Beyonce's not been to Scarborough. Well, why not? <laughs> I'll tell you what, Tim, no matter where you sat here, you've not really got a restricted uh, view of the um, stage, have you? No, not at all. To say that it's the biggest open air theatre in Europe, it's not that big. Because sometimes, you know, you go to a venue and you're so far away from the star, all you can see is why they've got it on the big TV screen. Yeah. Apart from that, they're just like a little pinpick in the distance. But I bet it, if you get it on a nice evening, I bet it's a spectacular concert here. It's lovely. The only fear that I would have is booking a ticket and then two days before looking at weather and seeing rain, It's chucking down, yeah. What can you do? The person again, in front of you has got the umbrella on. Exactly. All you're going to see is the umbrella. But I bet on a summer's evening when it's nice, I bet there's no oh, better than watching no, it. No, fantastic. Uh, let's have a look when uh, what we're doing when Rick Astle's here. <laughs> Must be lovely to live up this uh, part of Scarborough. When you've got that uh, sea view there, look, I can imagine. Yeah. Waking up to that every morning. More surfers and paddle boarders up there. Yeah, there were a big team brave. that's uh, just ready to go out there. There must have been at least 10 of them with the uh, paddle boards. Might be a surf school or something, but look at them waves there. That's just, that must be perfect conditions for surfers that. I imagine so. Not good for swimmers, but it's good for surfers. No. We'll have to sail boats out there as well. Uh, oh, yes. So we've just got back on the open top bus to go back to the south shore. It's a bit warm, a bit more warmer now, we're not moving. We found another bridge, that's from Barnsley. Quality bridge this. Tim, would you like to take a quality walk on a quality bridge that was engineered and made in Barnsley? I'll be the judge of that, Colin. Walk this way. What did you yes. think to that, Tim? Quality bridge there, Colin. Comfortable enough for you? Absolutely. Uh, we've shown you the promenade and the arbour and the uh, Pizone Park. And now we're going to take the Victorian tramway and have a look around the trans town centre. Come on. How much? <laughs> that was too bad. 
Hello. <laughs> That was the uh, tramway from the beach and we saved those legs to walk up and we're now going to take you along and show you the town centre. However, it's just gone 4 o'clock so most of the shops will be shut, it's Sunday. Uh, but we can see what it's like, can't we? Yeah, we can have a look for now. And look at this fantastic view from up here. What better view of Scarborough than from up here? Wow. It's look amazing from up here, Tim, doesn't it? It, it does. It's a lovely town. I've really enjoyed my day here. And if you don't want to take the vernacular up from the beach, then you've got this, it's a park, but it's on a really steep slope and they've got a winding path that you yeah. can walk up. And it takes about half an hour. Oh, yeah. Here's the lovely statue of Queen Victoria in front of the Scarborough Town Hall. So looking over an amazing view. As we mentioned, it is uh, Sunday as we're filming this and we did, uh, it's four o'clock in the evening. Half past four, to be precise. So a lot of the shops are, will be shut now for the weekend. But there looks to be a lot what's still open and still there trading. Is. Quite diverse shops as well. It's not like a lot of town centres where they've just got the chains. Yeah. Shops. There's a lot of uh, local, look like independent shops. Yeah. yeah. Lockley's local, local independent opticians. Health Foods for Great Tree. I see a few closed, uh, closed down shops, but not too many. That's everywhere though, on the high street these days, so isn't it? The high street's dead. Yeah. If I were a planner in town centre, I would do something like what Barnes has done. Spend, What's that, Colin? Spend a lot of money in it, <laughs> and gives people a reason to come into town centre, yes. not just to shop. Because they've built the uh, multi-storey uh, cinema, a uh, multi-screen cinema in the town centre, a bowling yep. alley. Uh, there's a library right in the right in the heart of it as well. You've got to give people an extra reason to come into town now, apart from shops, because yeah, people shop online more nowadays. Shop online. Uh, Leeds is doing okay because they're turning every empty building into student accommodation. <laughs> yes. <laughs> got a shopping centre up here, Colin. Brunswick, yeah. Must be good if water spoons are here. Water spoons? <laughs> water stones. <laughs> water <laughs> spoons. I've got spoons Is on that me, a Freudian, yeah? Freudian, <laughs> I've got Freud, can't say, Freudian slip. <laughs> I've got spoons in me, <laughs> Yes. Poundland. Tim, although there was a lot of uh, shops, Closed. What did you feel about the town centre? Uh, it was a lot bigger than I expected it to be, to be honest. Uh, I liked that there were a lot of independent shops. Uh, I think I'd probably like to come back again and have a proper look round. Uh, but it seems it seems good. When we come back in summer, we'll do a walk around their uh, shopping centre and see what it's like in there as well. So we're going to uh, call for a pint now. Yep. What we are for on Scabbard uh, I've had a really good day. It's a really nice town. Um, just two reservations, really. One is, is very hilly, so if you're not good on your pins, 
you might struggle. And the second thing, I've not seen a lot of nightlife here, so it's great during the day. I think it's particularly good if you've got a young family, there's plenty going on, but I've not seen a lot of um, nightlife advertised, so I'm not so sure whether I'd want to come for more than a day trip here. Colin, have you had a nice day in Scarborough? I've loved it, I've loved every minute. Not comparable to Blackpool at all, it's like chalk and cheese to Blackpool. Uh, the nightlife, there's no LGBT scene in Scarborough. There used to be, about five years ago, there used to be uh, a good cabaret bar that I've been into. No more. Uh, and we've not, seen some, we've not seen a lot of great bars walking up here, have we? No. Uh, but other than that, it's been a lovely day. There's plenty to do here for the full day out. Um, you'll not be bored, that's for sure. Uh, plenty of green space, what we found in Pizone Park, and uh, the beach were lovely as well. What I would say is, if you've got dogs, the amount of dog-friendly places that we saw everywhere, you could take you could take your uh, you can take your dogs into most of the bars, most of the cafes, and there was no dog pool. Uh, no, there wasn't. So, That's a good point. Uh, if you've got a dog and you want somewhere to comfort there, Scarborough is a good trip out. We hope you've enjoyed that look around Scarborough with us today. If you do, please give us a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel and don't want to miss out on any of our future videos, then please subscribe because it'll cost you absolutely, absolutely not. not. Thanks for watching, Chatter Gang. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye bye. It's a bit warm, what? A bit warm. Start again. <laughs>